Okay, so I'm going to put this segment right at the beginning of the whole video because I installed this backwards um, the first shot. First time I've got it corrected now, but this is how you want this piece. So this is the Harley uh, lower uh, fairing support bracket when you're using the mustache uh, crash guards, the Harley mustache crash guards. So it, it, early in the video when I put them on, I have this in the front and the hole in the back. That's wrong. You want you want the the big hole for the uh, turn signals. You want that in the back. Okay, so I'm starting with the, I have the stock fairing. I do have an Eagle headlight um, here. That'll make very little difference in, in all this, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna start by removing all this stuff. So I, I got 5 30 seconds Allen head wrench I'm gonna use to remove these. And then uh, it's just basically unplugging this from a rubber grommet. So I'm gonna do that first. So fairing is off. So these grommets right here, and there, that's where these plugged into. So all I did is pull the, the fairing straight forward and it unplugs. So to remove the headlight, it's a 9 sixteenths, 9 sixteenths inch uh, nut and bolt head. And I'm gonna use two end wrenches just because I think you could maybe get a socket in there, but it's gonna be pretty tough. So I'm gonna use two end wrenches, 9 sixteenths. Now I'm gonna remove um, this piece. And this is these are 3 16ths, two 3 16ths Allen head uh, bolts. So I've got that piece off. One thing I failed to mention, um, at this point after I had the, the stock speed screen off, um, I am watching the Advent Black video. So one thing that, about the Advent Black video, it's for an older FX LRS with tank mounted instruments. So I don't know what all is different and that's why I'm shooting these video segments to begin with. So now I'm gonna remove the acorn nut and washer that mounts the, the gas tank and then a Allen head. So the Allen head is, let's see, it's uh, 5 16 and the, the nut is 9 16 and now I'm going to take these rubber things off either side of the gas tank. I'm going to lift the tank up and slide those out. Uh, Advent Black, I think, mentioned I'm going to have a rag handy to uh, support the tank in case I need it after I, uh, after I slip those out. Get the camera focus. One thing you'll notice, too, Advent Black recommends this, and I've always done this, is anytime you're using tools and pulling parts and stuff, cover your anything you want to protect, cover it. You notice I got t-shirts strung over the gas tank. I, I draped this down when I was close to it with a tool here. Protect your stuff. Okay, to get to the uh, turn signal connector, uh, I did figure out this this rubber boot here, this, this thing that has all the wires that go into it. It does have like a ridge and it tucks, it, it goes into the, uh, to the metal piece here. This, this uh, let's see that slot and you can kind of finagle it out and I was able to do that um, out of this mess of wire you're looking for the two let's see flat ones like this there's a pair of them so I do see a connector I don't think it's going to show up in the video I do see a connector down inside there uh, where the the three wires of the four pin connector I do see one of them uh, one of the connectors. So what I'm going to try to do is with a pair of long nose pliers, I'm going to try to fish it out. I think pulling, just pulling the wire out, you could possibly get it out, the connector out, but probably disconnect the wire in the process or break things. So I'm not going to do that. So I'll try that with one and then I'll look for the other. Okay, so this didn't go as expected, but I got them both in. So the flat wires I traced, if you can see that, that white tape and you see that black wire that's in front of the white tape, that's a connector right there. Near as I could tell, both connectors. The other one, I don't know which one's left and which one's right, but the way I kept them straight is I just plugged them in as soon as I got the extension in. Um, these these connectors in here, they seem to be anchored in there. So I couldn't, like the Advent Black video says, you fish them out. And I thought I could just pull them out and connect them. Well, I couldn't. They, I, they're anchored, at least on my bike, they're anchored in there in some way. So you just have to kind of finagle it in there. I used this very small screwdriver, uh, that screwdriver, um, to unclip them, to push on the, on the, on the, 
the clip retainer thingy and then pull pull the wire out and then I plugged in the Advent, Advent Black extensions. So these are the Advent Black extensions for, for both turn signals. Um, so right now, these, these are plugged in, uh, let's see, to the existing flat wire that runs up through the handlebar. So I'm ready to, to go on to that part. But these were very difficult, uh, for me at least. Uh, it took me at least an hour to get them plugged in, maybe longer than that. And I was really regretting even starting this job. So you're forewarned if you're if you're not real mechanically inclined, which I don't think I am, um, is pretty tough. But I got them, and I'm proceeding. Uh, to let you know my 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 skill level, it, you know I'm comfortable with doing the three hole oil change. I I and I've ex installed accessories, but sometimes I get in over my head, and I thought I had here. Okay, so I'm proceeding on. I was just watching back the last segment of video. Sorry, it was that one was a little bit long. When I say it's plugged into the fl existing flat wire running up to the handlebar, that's so that's um, this wire here, and that's on the other end of the Advent, Advent Black extension. Because I think what I said is pretty misleading. So the Advent Black wire is not flat. That plugs into the connector. This this bear that's is buried deep in here behind this rubber cap. So that Advent Black round wire plugs into the bike and then that runs out to, through the extension, the Advent Black extension. And then that's the Harley flat wire that, uh, that, that's the Harley flat wire that does run up to the handlebar. So that's where I'm moving on to right now is the handlebar. So now I'm moving on to uh, relocating the turn the actual physical turn signal. And uh, I'm gonna take these half inch, I think they're called acorn nuts. I think that's what the guy on the Advent Black video is calling them. I'm gonna take take those off. I'll start with the left bar first. Okay, so taking that half inch acorn nut off, that got my turn signal off. I got my turn signal off and then I retightened for the for the uh, mirror. For the, and now I'll do the other side. So using a T27 uh, Torx, I'm gonna take these out on, on both bars and take this off and i think that's going to drop this from watching the advan black video just now so that's the left side uh, taken apart now um, make sure you catch everything or keep a hold of everything when you're removing this stuff so that nothing falls so now i'm going to do the right okay, side so both those pieces are off the left and the right uh, that's the brake uh, the brake just hand uh, hanging there uh, no leak or anything that's sealed on the top it seems to be sealed good okay so the hole is on the bottom of the handlebar so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this the the turn signal and pull the cable all the way through the handlebar so what i'm it, the hole is darn near the same size as the wire that i'm going to pull through so it's really a judgment call as to whether that's going to fit or not but i'm thinking once it's stranded in there let's say it doesn't fit Maybe if I do like Advent Black and take this part off, it'll be okay. But I'm still not certain that it's not gonna get hung up somewhere. And I don't want that because if it's hung up, I don't know how the hell I would get it back and down. I think it would be like near impossible. So I think I'm gonna depin this. So for my own reference, whoops, this. So for my own reference, it's, let's see. So on the clip side, left to right, it's blue, purple, black, and then and then space so clip side blue purple black and then space okay so i got the left deep pinned uh, i'm gonna in a comment i'm gonna put a video i found that was helpful for um how to deep in one of the things they said is if you're if the back side of your your clip it, that is hinged to to break it what I did is I scored it with the X-Acto knife all the, almost all the way through where the hinge is and then just broke it off and then just put it back. And then there's a little weather seal, that orange thing you can see. But you'll see that in, in the video I'll, I'll link. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the, the wires up through the handlebars now. So got both bars through. So here's the um, here's the with the admin admin black um, extensions and everything. I've just got them lying on the on the floor for now on the garage. 
but it's all done. The extensions are on, uh, got it all pulled through, got the handlebars put back together again. So I did not have to remove this, this, these pieces here uh, that Abdurn Black did. Might be easier if you do. It was, I wouldn't say it was like super easy pulling the cable through, but it wasn't like that hard. So I didn't see it, that it was necessary. Um, so um, that's it for tonight. Um, it's like eight o'clock and I wanna relax and eat dinner and watch TV. So I'm gonna continue this tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna take this unneeded uh, plate off and it's two T25 Torx head screws. And then I'm also gonna put a headlight extender cable that comes with the kit at then black. And then I tied back and taped off the uh, unused uh, wire. So I'm gonna install that and then take off that plate. So I still haven't placed back this, uh, this rubber boot uh, here that holds all the wires because I'm not sure if I need that out of the way to slip the mounting bracket in. Uh, from watching the Advent Black video, I, I do need to take this out. That's a T25 Torx. So that's an anchor for, I didn't even bother to trace to see what the cable is, but it's a big cable there. So I'm gonna take that off. So now I'm ready to slide this guy in. Um, so big step. <laughs> that's the bracket there, that's the mounting bracket. So they caution about, of course, you don't want to pinch any wires with the right side here where you're going to be sliding it behind the wires. So these go uh, with everything else on the outside of the bracket, uh, the wires and all that. Okay, I installed the, uh, the little plastic caps on this flange uh, for the, the gas tank. And uh, it looks like that's a no-go. I think those are going to be eliminated. So I'm going to take those off. And I, I tried sliding the bracket in. The other thing I noticed, it's gonna be dang hard to put this uh, rubber boot here, this, this, uh, this rubber boot that goes in to protect the wires. It's kind of like a funnel kind of a shape thing that protect all the wires going into the frame. Uh, so I'm gonna put that in now because I, I think it'll be hard or impossible to get that thing in once the bracket's in. So I backed out the bracket and I'm, I'm taking those caps off and I'm gonna put that rubber boot on. So that rubber boot that for the, all the wires, that was actually really easy to put back in the frame. I didn't have to use a screwdriver or anything to try to get that groove that's in the rubber boot into the frame. It was real easy. I had it in, in a couple of minutes. Um, and then the Advan Black, Black mounting bracket has a hole drilled for this wire harness. So that's what I'm going to do next is put in the, the tank bolt. He used a hammer on the Advan Black a little bit to tap it, tap it in. I'm not sure how hard that'll be to put in. And then I'll put in the torque screw for, the, for this uh, bracket for the wire harness. Okay, so got all that done. I had to use, fortunately I had a set of uh, wa miscellaneous size washers. I had to use a thinner washer uh, for the bolt that, that uh, mounts the, the gas tank. Uh, the, uh, the bolt's kind of short after you get the advent black bracket on. It only had, gosh, probably like one thread. Probably once the nuts tighten, it would be two or three threads, which I think is sufficient. Uh, not ideal, but sufficient. Uh, but with a thinner washer, it was better. And then this screw uh, that anchors the, let's see. The, well, the, the screw that anchors on the bracket that anchors the, oh, the, right here. That's the screw that anchors that wire. Uh, let's see, get the camera down here. The screw that anchors this little bracket that holds that, that cable. Uh, that was hard to get in. I was struggling with that a lot. It's just, you just got to finagle it. You don't have much space between the fork tube and uh, it just takes a lot of patience and pulling and trying to get it aligned. Okay, so I've been doing some head scratching here. So Advent Black's video has a tube to, they call it, uh, well, it's to support the, the, the lower fairing bracket, I guess they call it. I think this is the part, so this is a part that um, Advan Black had me buy from Harley Davidson. It was in stock, so there's a number if you need it. So there it is, and there it is. Uh, I'm thinking after looking it over, the part that that mounts uh, on the bike to hold the tube, I think I don't need. I think everything I need is here. Uh, I think it's just gonna all mount to the, uh, so I've got the, uh, 
the Harley uh, mustache uh, crash guards. I think that's my tube. It's my support bracket, I believe. So now I'm separating the fairing halves. Um, you, uh, there, it's just three, three screws or bolts and they're T25 Torx. So I've removed those three and I'm removing these three. Okay, so you also have to take out these six screws. So I haven't taken these three out yet. Um, didn't say that in the Advent Black video, but it wasn't separating. It looked like that was what was holding it up. So the inner fairing has these two slots. Uh, Whoops, uh, and there, there and there. And they're gonna go on these. That's the hanger, kind of hanger bracket on, on this piece. So hanging it on the, the hangers there for the, for the mounting bracket uh, was not easy. So I, what I did is I just barely got it started on each side and then uh, managed to get it in. But I did it all from this side of the bike uh, facing forward, like like from the strat, like alongside the bike, in the in the riding position, so I could see what was going on. I could see how it would be pretty easy, if you're not careful, to possibly uh, scrape up the uh, your your fairing. So I was real careful on on putting that piece on. So I got two of the 10 millimeter screws started. Um, I'm going to put the bottom two in with Loctite and then take these out and, and Loctite them to blue Loctite. Okay, so I've got my four 10 millimeter bolts uh, mounted. So now my uh, inner fairing is all mounted. Well, except for down here. So I'm going to work on the Harley parts I bought and securing it to the fairing down here. So this is the Harley part. Oh, shoot. That's a long ways off. So what I'm going to do with the Harley kit came this screw and this nut. There was no washer, but it, it seemed like it, a washer was a good idea. So I'm going to put that through the hole on the, on the inner fairing. And then I'm going to put it in that hole on this Harley aftermarket part, that hole, and get that made up. And then worry about getting this around the mustache crash bar and that piece that goes down the bottom of the mustache crash bar and the hardware to hold it. Um, what I did find the mustache crash bar, you see that it's hard to do all this, holding all these parts and stuff. Hold on, let me get the parts out of my hand. There's a ridge on the mustache crash bar. I believe that's gonna have to go on the outside of the ridge. That isn't a scrub, no, it's just glare. Um, so I'll update after I do so that. So the nut, that's on the other side of this bolt is a 7 16 that's this bolt was in the harley kit didn't have washer but it seemed like a really good idea to put a washer on there so i got that from my own collection and then this is the harley part the box that i showed you early in an earlier segment and i bolted these up these were a torque uh torque head and they're t27 it's uh is what I use to tighten these up. I ended up, so I ended up outside that little bit of a ring that's built on the mustache crash bar. I ended up on the outside. I kind of just went for a spot where it just seemed right, where I wasn't really flexing the the bracket or everything, but this is really solid now. I mean, it's, it's really solid. So I'll do the other side the same. So with the Cali Rays modal uh, kit for the, um, for the light, I have this plate and there's gonna be three mounting holes, and they talk about reusing some screws or something. Um, I think that they were talking about the actual ST, but I noticed there's a bag with the Advent Black that has exactly three screws, so I'm pretty sure this, gonna, this is the right. So I'll show you what that looks like after I get it on. So I got all three screws in with blue Loctite. They're 2.5 millimeter metrics, the Advent Black uh, screws. So I got the bracket and this is for adjusting the headlight. I got the bracket on here. I'm gonna put these four bolts on that came with the kit. Uh, one to hold it and one to hold it and adjust. So I'm gonna put those nuts on first. That seems like way easier than later. And then I'm gonna put these four bolts through these four holes. And uh, somewhere here, I found the nuts for the backside. So, um, that'll come, come through the inside of the fairing, the nuts to put on here to hold the whole thing in. So I'm going to do all that. So that's all in. The nuts that on the back side of the 
of the fairing are, uh, these nuts are 7 16 um, I use Loctite even though there's lock washers. So it's all in. So this is, I think, I'm gonna look over stuff, but I think I'm ready to put this on now. One last thing, the Advent Black uh, Beauty Ring, I couldn't see how I could possibly make that work. So I left it off. So I'm gonna take the hardware off the turn signals, half inch nut on each one to get this chrome hardware off. Okay, so I got the turn signals ready. This is the Advent Black uh, turn signal mounting hardware that came with the kit. So I'm going to feed the, I unplugged the uh, turn signals from the extension and I'm going to feed the cable through here and then out through the front of the fairing and then, uh, and then tie wrap it along the, the length of the fairing. So I got the wire uh, from the turn signal running through the three provided uh, anchors on from both sides. I think I said it backwards. I think I said the wire is going to come out. Actually, this wire is going in this to join the extensions. So after I plugged in the uh, the turn signals, I turned on the bike just to make sure uh, left and right. So I got my T25 wrench ready and four screws ready. So I'm gonna uh, do the top, probably the top four um, with the fairing. So I'm gonna go in, go in and grab the, the outer part of the fairing and I'm ready to mount it on there. Okay, so I got the fairing ready to go on. Uh, I forgot about the the cable that came with the IP6. So it's it's got some extra wire. So this is what I'll be plugging in the Harley. Um, but it's got this, which I'm guessing is not going to be needed. And it's also got, it looks like, ready to go directly to the battery, which I'm praying that's not needed. <laughs> That'll be a lot of extra work. Uh, so I'm going to find out. So I'm thinking the only needed plugs is the one that plugs in the IP6 and the one that plugs in the Harley. So if that's true, uh, now this is electronics that I'm leaving. If that's true, I'll either tape these back or maybe even cut them off and tape them off. Uh, this one, and what was the other one? Oh, and the, and the black and the red wires. I'm praying that that uh, lights up fine and it doesn't need battery power. Well, I think I'm all done with the mechanical work. Uh, so I got all the bolts in. Like I had read online, these things are really cheap. These uh, these grommet things that hold the windshield in. That one, I can't even get it in good. They come apart. They split. Um, they're like they're, I don't know, 10 years old or something in the sun. They're really low quality. If someone knows, uh, I'd appreciate it if someone knows where I could buy just, just these. Uh, and I'll replace them all. So I got all the, the bolts cinched up. You, uh, I installed the, the wind deflectors. Uh, that's the bottom bolt. So one, two, three bolts that hold the uh, the fairings together, plus all the windshield uh, bolts. Just three? Yeah, I guess it was just three. Um, so basically done. Unfortunately for me, no headlight. So this red and the black wire uh, need to be run to the battery. I don't think I'll even bother showing that in the video. Uh, I've got another video where I ran wires back to uh, um, to there for this, for my uh, um, Garmin, for the perch. So you can view that. I don't know if I went the, the, the best route. I'm kind of wondering if there's wires under this uh, I saw, I think it was a road glide or something, where there are wires under this. So they would have to run it behind the metal and then up and in. That might be an easier route to go to the battery. I might just, because I did save some money putting this on myself, uh, I might just spring for, uh, have Harley do it, have my local dealer do it um, to, to wire this. So I think the plugging in for the headlight the headlight wire harness, I think it's probably just triggering a relay and then it's drawing power directly from the battery to actually light the, the headlight. Um, okay, so that's it.